Well, hello and welcome to our Harrow College Business Virtual Open Day. Good to have you with us today. Before I hand over to Robin, who will give you lots of information about the courses and the experience of being a business student at the college, I'll just give you a little bit of information just to let you know we've recorded the session today, so you can watch that back. It will be on our website and on our YouTube channel as well. If you haven't seen our Welcome to Harrow College video, that is also on our website. You can have a little look at that. Today, Robin will give you a bit of information about the, the course. But if you want some other information about life as a Harrow College student, then do head to, to the website www.harrow.ac.uk forward slash open days and the videos in there as well. And that will go nicely with what you see today. If you've got any questions, we are taking questions at the end. So do please pop those into the chat box and we'll pick them up um, and hopefully we'll answer as many of those as we can. Uh, we've also got some links going into the chat. So if you want to uh, have a, a look at any of those links, do, do uh, head onto the website uh, afterwards and you can get some more information. But uh, without further ado, I shall hand over to Robin to give you some more information about business. Uh, hi everyone, good afternoon. I'm Robin Green and I'm the section manager of the business school at Harrow College and I'm just going to take you through some of the courses that we do, why you should study with us and also what else we offer at the business school. So why should you study here at Harrow College Business School? As I've said, we offer a wide range of courses. Um, that's level one, two and three courses. We offer that in business and also enterprise and entrepreneurship. We also offer AAT accountancy apprenticeships at level two and level three. We have um, expert teaching staff with a wide range of industry knowledge and experience. So from finance to running their own business, working for the Prince's Trust um, in all sectors of the business um, sector. So we also have students taking part in work experience placements. That's sometimes virtual. So we have virtual placements and also out in the workplace as well. We have trips, guest speakers, networking events and video calls. Um, obviously that's been remote at the moment. So we have had guest speakers coming on on video calls. We've had networking events like our expo project, which I'll talk about later. That has been a remote event via Zoom um, with about 200 students. So you can see it's a big event online, um, but hopefully that will be back in person again soon. I mentioned there the annual expo project and event. So we always run each year a, an event called the expo project. It's to really get teams of students working together from the beginning of their course. And that happens from about September through to about November when we have the event. When we have the event, it, we hope it will be in person again. Uh, next year but as I said this year was slightly different and we held an online event on Zoom and that had around 200 students, staff members, um, senior management and also our guests from a local business as well who judged the event. So the business courses you can study with us for 19 plus we offer the access to higher education diploma in business that is a one year course and that will take you to university. So the course is there to get you from a GCSE English and Maths that you hold straight to university within one year. So it is a full course of 20 units. So you will be working hard every day of the week, but it is a nice course to get you prepared to go off to university. We also offer level three courses in both enterprise and entrepreneurship and business. So those courses are over two years, so you will complete either an extended certificate in enterprise and entrepreneurship or a foundation diploma in business in the first year. And then that will be topped up in the second year to either your diploma in enterprise and entrepreneurship or an extended diploma in business. We also have a level two course um, and that will be the Cambridge Technicals OCR course in business and that is a one year course. We have a level one course as well, and that's a BTEC level one diploma in business. And then we have our apprenticeships. So we have a level two diploma um, at the moment in AAT, and also uh, we are going to be offering the level three diploma um, as well in accounting. So your course involves obviously your formal lectures, so that will be your class room um, lessons. 
You will also be expected to take part in private directed study. So that could be homework or it could be research for assignments or exams. You will need to take part in revision and that will be either revision workshops, which will be formal or it will be informal revision that you will take part uh, yourself. You'll have study support. So we have our ALF sessions and that will be a weekly study support session and that will be in the college timetabled. You will have to manage your time effectively to, um, to complete your assignments and also to prepare for your examinations. You will have to take responsibility for your own learning. So it is different to school, college, you'll have a timetable which has varied lessons. It won't be nine to five every single day. You will have to take responsibility within the gaps between your lessons to revise and to complete coursework. And as I've said, your um, courses will be assessed through either coursework, so written assessment or exams. So as I've said, really important, I think um, college life is really about organising your time. So it's organising your time to study and complete your course. You have a lot more freedom than at school in college and that really prepares you for university or work life so you need to build in your study time to read around your subject to research to complete your homework tasks or to carry out your project work so that would be for the expo or for work experience you need to monitor your assessment deadlines carefully you will be given your assessment deadlines that's for coursework or exams at the beginning of your course and you will need to make sure that you stick to those and work to them and also you'll be able to use the Learning Resource Centre online and at the college to be able to research. So books, online journals and online resources. So the facilities that we have available will be your classrooms and your computer classrooms, your computer facilities. You'll have the Learning Resource Centre, so a library, but also it's more than a library. It's an online platform as well. So you will have um, access to online books, magazines, newspapers, software, um, and you will also be able to click and collect through an online service to collect your books. We have um, a career service, so that is open every single day in the college for you to get information, advice and guidance on your progression. So from your course internally within the college, you might want to progress from level one to two to three, etc. Um, also employment opportunities for you, maybe apprenticeships that you're interested in, and generally careers advice and UCAS applications for university. And then we also have student services where you can find out about bursaries and also extracurriculum activities. So we have um, so many people that can help you at the college. Obviously your first point of call will be your personal tutor. So that's your spa um, they will look after you. They will make sure that each week you have a session with them to go through anything that you are worried about your course or your attendance. You have your subject teachers um, and obviously go to them either personally at the office or via email for any any questions about your course. Each course also has a course leader and they will probably be one of your teachers to go uh, to for things like assessment. You will have an attendance coordinator. So if you cannot make um, your college lessons, so if you're ill or you have an appointment, you will go to your attendance coordinator and they will let your teachers know. You also have staff around the college as well. So you'll have resource um, learning resource center staff that can help you with logins, help you with the library, accessing resources and generally where to store things on the computer or how to print. Um, you'll have support staff one-to-one -one available uh, the staff at the Career Centre and also staff at Student Services. So, so many people that can help you at your time at the college. So over to some fun things that we do around your course. So it won't just be you studying your programme, so your level one course or your level three course. Each year, as I've said, we have a number of events or projects or visits that we do. And one of them, which the students really enjoy, and you can see from the smiles there in the pictures, one of those is the annual expo project. So every year, as I've said, the students organize their own event, their own um, project, and you will be put into teams with your classmates from the beginning of your course. And that is this event is attended by other students and so not just the business students. 
not just business staff, but also senior management, staff from other schools, and also we have our guests who are from a local business. They usually uh, visit all of the teams, see your presentations, the work that you've done, and then they usually judge and offer the first, second and third prizes. So here's some of our pictures of our um, employers that come to visit us and also our winning teams. So this year it was a remote event and the students had to come up with an online business so they had to come up with their own business ideas and it had to be an online business so they presented their business plan their business ideas and concepts um, and then our local business um, our local employers chose a, chose a winner and then they had an award ceremony so where could your business course lead you? Where can you go after you've finished your course with us? Obviously, if you've completed a course at the college and want to progress, we offer the next level. If you've studied a level three or an access course, you might want to go on to higher education, so an, a university level course. And then we offer, obviously, help and guidance for you to go off to a university and help complete your UCAS um, statements and your UCAS application. You might want to go on to an apprenticeship and that could be through the college or externally and we will help again with that and we offer apprenticeships in accounting within our business school so that could be an opportunity for you and then of course we will help you with employment so we will help you with your applications for jobs cvs references etc and the skills that you will need in employment so thinking of university, these are some of the courses and you can see that business prepares you for such a wide range of courses at university. Uh, these are some of the courses that our students have progressed on to at different universities. So you can see finance, accounting, law, marketing and advertising, uh, criminology, human resources, politics, social community development, even IT. Um, and generally business studies as well. So you can see such a wide range of university courses that our business courses can prepare you for. And then also careers as well. So our students go into a number of careers, uh, either from university or without going into university, maybe through an apprenticeship or straight into employment. And you can see there are a number of careers that business will prepare you for. And then finally, I just thought I'd um, leave you with one of our students that did win the British Education Awards in 2019. And she was one of our business students who won um, this prestigious award. So we do have students that win the Jack Petchy Awards each year and also other local awards. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight into the courses that we offer from level one two, three, and access, and also the apprenticeships. And we offer that in business and accounting. And also the exciting things that you can do also on your business course at Harrow College and the opportunities that you will get. So if there are any questions, I can open that up. Lovely, thank you, Robin. Just while we wait for uh, any questions to come through, uh, one of the things um, I know that uh, a lot of students do is, is progress with us. And can you just give a, a flavour of how, you know, if, if you're starting on a particular course, what opportunities there will be for you if you're starting maybe at a level one or a level two? Yes, yeah, so um, many of our students progress all the way through and you can see their journey. Um, so we, you could either progress from ESOL already at the college and we have a lot of students from ESOL or entry courses that progress onto our level one business course and enter into the business school from level one. But also, if, even if you've come externally onto a level one or level two, you can then still progress with us. So usually the path is level one, two and then finally level three however if you um, have come in to the college or you study already at the college and you have a GCSE in either English or maths and you are 19 plus you might be able to get onto our access course which as I said was one year going into university so even from another area in the college or from externally if you are 19 and you have a GCSE at grade four or grade C in English and maths or English or maths, do find out about our access course if that's something you're looking for. 
So I think just, just to add to what Robin said, there's lots of opportunities. If you're at different start points, come and talk to us. We'll be able to give you advice. And um, applications are open, so you can uh, apply now on the website. Just head to the courses. You can click the orange Apply Now button. Um, and if you're not quite sure what course you want to do, you, you can make an application and we can, we can then talk through that. Uh, with you and uh, if, if, if you, we think that the uh, another course will be helpful for you we can uh, help you with that as well but also if you want any more information you can uh, call the college we will be able to help you with with that as well so if you're not quite sure do come and talk to us we'd definitely love to hear from you and I know in the business school uh, Robin's shown a few pictures and, and given some ideas as well some of the sort of projects and the, and the briefs that students get onto so I think just that flavor of getting um, experience of what it might be like to work in the business world and then that obviously prepares you um, and, the, and the team will help to prepare you to go on to to work uh, university or into an apprenticeship whatever your next steps are and we can help you we've got a great careers team who can help you as well planning your next steps depending on on where you want to to head to um, no other questions have come in Robin so just uh, just to say um, as we've mentioned there are um, in, there are lots more information uh, fact sheets on, on the website or do give the college a call and we can help you from there and um, we will be sharing the session. So if you do want to have a look back, then do head to the website as well. We will share that. Um, thank you very much for joining us. Um, it's good to have you with us. And just a reminder, the website is www.harrow.ac.uk or you can call us on 020 8909 and we could give you more information from there. Thank you very much. Thanks uh, also to Martha who has uh, been with us today for BSL. Um, and so if you do want uh, any uh, support, um, again, any student support, then call us about that as well. But thank you very much and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.